Hello, my name is Silent Gimmon, and I am the owner of the TrustIsYou.com in a podcast called Stop Paying Capital Gains Now with an exclamation mark. The reason I do this on TikTok is because so few people have ever heard of the Spendthrift Trust. My personal story is back in 2018, I became a real estate investor when my mom got sick. Thank God she got better. In 2019, I was working as a, a, as a um, what was I doing? Boy, I just forgot because I didn't like the job. I was uh, working with people who were getting on to Medicare, Medicare broker. That's what I was doing. Boy, that was bad. I just forgot that. Medicare broker. I was a Medicare broker and I wholesale seven houses. I was doing quite well. I was able to pay off all my debt and I thought, woohoo, Sally's doing great. Well. When I went to go do my 2019 taxes, I got some disturbing news. I, ha I had to get on a payment plan with the IRS for short-term capital gains. Hence the title of my uh, podcast, Stop Paying Capital Gains Now. Um, I, I drove to Scottsdale. I was living in Phoenix. I drove to Scottsdale to talk to my uh, CPA, and he told me I owed $75,000 to the federal government for short-term capital gains. I got on a payment plan. My tax rate, uh, when I did my uh, 2018 taxes, I was at 22%. My tax rate went up to 24%. And all of those wholesale deals, nobody, silly me, I didn't know the truth. So what I want to teach people is what I learned because what I, I left the CPA's office. I went down to the parking garage. I literally sat in my car and cried. I, I fought uh, traffic to go back home, uh, rush hour traffic to get home to my house in Phoenix and my great aunt Kitty always said, sleep on it. I woke up the next day at five o'clock in the morning going, I need to find this book, uh, a book from Garrett Gunderson about the Rockefeller's Trust. I started researching the uh, Rockefeller's Trust. In September of 2020, I started both my business and my beneficial spendthrift trust and uh, uh, started teaching in my real estate group. My goal with this, uh, doing this live is I wanna teach as many US business owners, 1099 income earners and investors how to save federal taxes legally. The Spendthrift Trust has five elements. I'll go over them very quickly. Irrevocable, complex, discretionary, non-grantor, Spendthrift Trust. Irrevocable goes from generation to generation. Complex, this can hold money day to day, week to week, year to year, decade to decade. 97% of the trusts in the United States today are what my mom and dad had and what Susie Orman talks about on television. It's a family trust, and the only thing the family trust does is it avoids going through probate, and then it dissolves. This is not your mom and dad's trust. This is what the Rockefellers, the DuPonts, the Carnegies, the Kennedys, and other U.S. presidents have. So again, irrevocable, complex, discretionary. Whoever is the trustee or trustees can make the rules for whoever the beneficiaries are. I don't have any children, so if I leave 90% uh, of my estate to one uh, a nephew and the rest of my nieces and nephew only get a, a 2%, they can't contest that in the court system. Beautiful thing. Number four, non-grantor. When you set up the trust, this makes the trust 100% private. It will be based out of Texas because that's where the law firm is. It'll be, uh, you're going to have someone who's not a beneficiary sign up for the trust. They'll be the settler and then be the trustee for 10 minutes and then sign themselves away. You will need their social security number. I have done this for many of my clients or somebody else from the law firm can do this for them too. You, I, we just set this up and it'll be easy to do. And then the fifth, uh, the fifth element is spendthrift. It has been in front of the United States Supreme Court twice. Both times the Supreme Court has favored with the spendthrift trust. It's in the IRS tax code and this is as legal as legal can be. The law firm I work on behalf of has a copyright on the trust for the past 72 years. Robert Benson was a Harvard Law professor. He wrote up the uh, Spendthrift Trust. He started a law firm with him and his, uh, his uh, partner, the best friend. They left the law firm to uh, a son each, and now a grandson has the law firm. The law firm inherited a trust that turned 350 years old in 2023. This is as legal as legal can be. Again, I, I don't bring anybody on live because the last time I did this on TikTok, they were naked and I couldn't get them off. They were not pretty naked, honestly. Tomorrow, December 12th at uh, 4 p.m. East Coast time, I'm doing a free live event on Zoom, www.thetrustisyou.com slash save. Uh, it's going to be, I'm going to do my presentation with slides and then I'm going to open up for question and answering. I'm sorry I don't go live on TikTok. So again, with, uh, with uh, I forget where I was. I was telling you the five elements. 
The Spendthrift Trust is going to save you in four very important ways. Write this down. Number one, federal taxes, year after year, generation after generation. You are not tax-free. You're saving certain taxes. I'll get to that in a minute. Number two, it's going to keep your information 100% private. Right now, most people think that if they have an LLC, an S Corp or a C Corp, their information is private. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not private. That's part of that's, that's you be doing business as something else. I can write a freedom of information letter to the Secretary of State or the Corporation Commission and... Um, what do you call it? A, a, a stomped envelope and they'll send me all the information. Number three, I can't stop you from being sued, but you will pay no judgments if you are sued. So if someone tries to sue me, I'm worth nothing. That becomes a frivolous lawsuit. The old adage from Nelson Rockefeller, own nothing, control everything. Again, this is a very specialized trust. And number four, if you're not aware of the 2024 Corporate Transparency Act that starts January 1st from the Treasury Department, the trust will shield you from doing this yearly paperwork. Here's the story. Uh, what's going to happen starting January for, uh, January 1st, if you start a new LLC doing business as or corporation, you have 90 days in 2024 to do the paperwork. If you're an established LLC doing business as or corporation, you don't have to do anything until December, uh, I'm sorry, until January 1st, 2025. If you do not do the paperwork, listen up. If you do not do the paperwork, you're going to be charged $10,000 or two years in jail or both. $10,000 or two years in jail or both. If you do the paperwork incorrectly, listen up. You will be charged $500 a day for the, each day it was incorrectly done, including Fridays and Saturdays. I'm sorry, Saturdays and Sundays. Woo, I'm, my mind's not where it's supposed to be. Uh, Saturdays and Sundays. So again, if you have the Spendthrift Trust, you will not have to do this paperwork. What they're asking for, this is what they want. They want your name, your address, your phone number, your uh, driver's license number, your social security number, and your passport. If I'm a hacker from Russia or China, guess where I'm going to start hacking? I'm going to hack the Treasury Department because they're going to have all that information together. So again, if you want to learn more about how to save federal taxes, keep your information private, pay no judgments if you get sued, and not have to do the yearly paperwork, I'm inviting you to a free 30-minute tax breakthrough session, www.thetrustisyou.com slash scheduling is my Zoom calendar. Please sign up for this. Now, the business trust, this is for U.S. business owners and 1099 income earners. They will save at least 90% on their federal income taxes year after year, generation after generation. If you are in a state with state income taxes, I'm not making fun of y'all, but uh, Massachusetts, New York, New Jersey, Kentucky, Illinois, California, uh, you, you can also save state income taxes too, but, uh, state income taxes. The presentation I just did today on uh, uh, my YouTube channel is a husband and wife. The wife is a school teacher making W-2 income. I can't help her. The husband is a dentist and he has his own uh, practice. What we did is start a business trust for him. He's going to save both state income tax and federal income tax, almost $30,000 a year. And they're going to lower their tax bracket from 32%. They're going to lower it down to 24%. So they'll save taxes that way too. Again, this is the business trust. The beneficial trust, this is for any investor. I don't care if you're a US investor, if you're a passive investor, a real estate investor, you're in crypto, you're in the stock market, you're a day trader, you do options trading, binary trading, you're futures trading, you have rental income from Airbnb or vacation rental, or you have long-term rental, 10 doors, 20 doors, multifamily, or you're in royal, uh, you have royalties. You're an actor, an actress, a songwriter, an author, a writer, have middle rights, uh, copyrights, or patents. With the beneficial trust, you're going to save the following taxes year after year, generation after generation. You will no longer pay short-term or long-term capital gains. Excuse me. Uh, you'll no longer pay interest income, dividend income, rental income, or royalties. So, so you just know this. Capital gains, short-term capital gains, is on any profits, a year or less. Interest income is for passive investors doing BRRRR strategy, having notes like I do where I'm the mortgage on the house. Subject to, if you are um, um, uh, doing creative financing or seller financing, that's uh, interest income. 
dividend income, you're in the stock market, you're a day trader, you have d- d- dividend stocks, options traders, oh, options traders, you get charged 40% on profits or 60% on profit, uh, the year of profits or more. Uh, then um, uh, rental income, yes, you can take depreciation, but you'll save your information and keep, uh, you won't pay any judgments. All of those taxes are taxed between 10% to 37%, seven different layers, whatever your tax bracket is. Royalties are taxed a little bit less, 10% to 35%, and long-term capital gains are taxed 15 or 20% on any profit. There's a reason I work with uh, business brokers because they, uh, they sell uh, businesses and everything like that. I want to teach as many U.S. business owners, 1099 income earners, and investors to save as much as they can on their savings taxes. This is as legal as can be. Tomorrow, December 12th, I'm going live on Zoom at 4 p.m. East Coast time. You can always set up a, a meeting with me, www.thetrustisyou.com slash scheduling. If I can save taxes, you should be able to save taxes. When you set up a meeting with me, I will take you out to a, a nerd wallet. I will show you, sorry, that's a cat going crazy. I'll show you uh, your tax bracket. We'll discuss what you're doing. I will give you an idea of how much you'll save. I'll send you two pages of uh, uh, tax law the, 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 uh, you know, uh, uh, to show you it's legal and give you all the information. My goal, <laughs> excuse me, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. My goal is to help as many U.S. business owners, 1099 income earners, and investors save federal taxes. This is legal. It's copywritten. It's in the IRS tax code. I want to say thank you for coming uh, to watch me live here. Uh, again, set up an appointment, www thetrustisyou.com scheduling or if you go up to my website just to my website you'll have a video or you can set up the, uh, a conference there too thank you for watching have a beautiful day and take care bye bye